Okay, let's make a context-free grammar for this language, which is the set of all strings a to the i, b to the j, c to the k, where the number of a's, which is i here, plus the number of c's, which is k here, is equal to the number of b's. So you can actually rewrite this language as i plus k in terms of the exponent for b, the number of b's. So if you think about this, you can rewrite the string as a to the i, b to the i, b to the k, c to the k. In some sense, we can split that up into i b's and then another k b's, which are gonna match up with the c's and the beginning set of b's are gonna match up with the a's. So we can think of this in terms of two different equality problems. Have this one and then this one, and they are concatenated together. So we can think of a solution to this by having a variable s make two variables where one of them is gonna make this and the other one is gonna make this and then concatenate them together. So let's call them A and B. So A is gonna do all the work of this guy, and that's fairly simple. It's just the number of A's is matches the number of B's. So that's gonna be little a, big A, little b, and the base case for that is empty. And the base case for that, of course, is empty. And over here for capital B, we can do a similar scenario. So capital B goes to little b, big B, little c, or empty. So the fact that we can split this up in some sense, even though it's not really splitting it up, allows us to make two different variables to handle the two separate problems, so to speak, completely separately, and then concatenate them together. So therefore, this is a quick and easy grammar for the set of all strings of the form a to the i, b to the was j, now is i plus k, c to the k, and because, and if this was j, it would be that i plus k is equal to j.